वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट टूटल डिस्कस ऑन एयर कूल कंडेंसर एयर कूल कंडेंसर एज वी नो दैट एक्चुअली कंडेंसर सो कंडेंसर इज बेसिकली ए डिवाइस व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन बेसिकली इन आरएससी सिस्टम और इन वीसीआर साइकिल और वेपर कंप्रेशन रेफ्रिजरेशन साइकिल और इन रेफ्रिजरेटिंग सिस्टम इन व्हिच द मेन फंक्शन इज दैट टू रिमूव हीट फ्रॉम द hot vapor refrigerant and it reach up to and when when it when it extract heat or reject heat from the hot vapor refrigerant it can reach up to liquid refrigerant okay so this is the main function of a condenser and condenser now depending on the condensing medium the condenser basically are uh three types air cool condenser water cool condenser and the evaporative condensers now we will discuss on first air cool condensers now air cool condenser is basically a one type of condenser is basically in which the removal of heat is done by air that means air is in the air cool condenser act as a condensing medium that's why the name is air cool condenser and it's basically consist of it's consist of steel or copper tubing okay it's basically it's consist of steel or copper tubing uh, through which the refrigerant flow actually in the condenser the refrigerant will flow through steel and copper tubing okay and the size is very very the size it can be varied okay the range as basically is from 6 mm to 18 mm or outside diameter actually outside diameter and uh, generally we are uh, uses the um, uh, copper tubes in between uh, which are generally it can be used for copper tube also steel tube also but most effective uh, tubes for as a condenser tube it it is basically copper tubes okay and basically copper tubes are used because of its excellent uh, so copper tube are basically uh, used okay uh, basically used for its excellent heat transferability for excellent heat transfer excellent heat transfer ability okay the steel tubing also are used but uh, copper in between steel and copper uh, copper is the best because of the excellent heat transfer capability ability okay and the condenser basically uh, uh, and the condenser of steel tubing are used okay but in ammonia refrigerating system it is used for ammonia refrigerating system so basically the condenser tube are made of steel or copper but in between steel and copper copper is the best because of its excellent heat transfer ability and the size of or range of the pipe tube that is 6 mm to 18 mm outside diameter okay and the next uh, important point is that the tubes are generally provided with plate type fins okay so obviously fin are there so the tubes are usually provided with plate type fins so plate type fins are basically it's basically made of aluminum which type of fins are used we know that in from the heat transfer the subject that what is the, what is fin and what are the main objective of fin uh, so from that concept uh, in the condenser fins are generally used Uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, increase the surface area for heat transfer so that's why fins are are used for to increase the heat to increase the uh, surface area uh, for heat transfer as you all know actually that heat transfer basically occurs from the surface area of a, any object now as the surface area increases so there will be increases of so there are increases uh, heat rejection capacity also so the fins are basically used in condensers which is basically are called fins and that fins basically made of aluminum because of its light weight okay and uh, one more point uh, that uh, it is basically used it is basically used uh, that um, in case of domestic refrigerator in case of domestic refrigerator or fridge or small capacity of unit okay small capacity of unit that is basically used uh, and uh, one more point suppose uh, this is the inlet sections in this type of um, condenser you are already uh, familiar with that in your uh, home made um, 
in your uh, refrigerator in your home uh, in which the back side of the refrigerator you can see that this is the inlet uh, tube that is basically either uh, copper or steel tube but generally uh, generally that copper tube are generally occurs and these fins are basically made of aluminium these are the fins to increase the surface area uh, so that the if you increase the surface area the heat transfer ability or heat rejection capability is increased so amount of heat amount of uh, amount of heat rejection capacity increase that means uh, it, that maximum amount of hot vapor refrigerant uh, can um, reject is heat and uh, form its liquid refrigerant so this is the main objective so that's a uh, main objective and uh, in this way the air cool condenser basically are uh, works and uh, it is basically in, in case of small capacity of unit that is basically domestic refrigerator fridge like this type of uh, units okay as you see that the if you call in terms of ton of refrigeration you only maximum that is up to 3 ton of refrigeration 3 tier you can use for air cool condition if you increase the your capacity of refrigeration capacity that means beyond 3 tier beyond 3 tier uh, you can uh, apply your uh, water cool condenser which we will discuss in the later okay but uh, the main uh, these are the advantage but uh, but main disadvantage okay main disadvantage is that uh, that it operates at higher it operates at higher condensing temperature than water cooled uh, but, um, condenser. Uh, so basically, condenser basically three types as you know that water cooled, air cooled, as well as evaporative condenser. But um, the condensing temperature, that condensing temperature means through which the water is um, that is air. Yeah, air temperature is basically normal surrounding temperature that is basically around uh, the 30 40 degrees Celsius, depending on the circumstances or depending on the. Uh, the temperature on the normal atmosphere uh, but in case of water the condensing as it is condensing medium is water the temperature is very much low compared to the air so uh, depending on that it operates at a higher condensing temperatures than water cool condenser uh, so uh, the higher condensing temperature causes the compressor to work more so it will decrease the efficiency so this is the main disadvantage part of air cool condenser okay now, uh, there are basically uh, two types of there are basically two types of uh, condenser are there generally. Uh, one is natural convection air cool condenser, natural convection air cool condenser, and another is force convection air cool condenser. So the name suggests one is natural convection, another is force convection. So you already know about the uh, uh, convection actually convection conduction and radiations both are heat transfer medium for uh, any substance to heat to transform heat from one object to another object uh, from one uh, body to another body so the this process is basically we know that convection is basically two types natural convection and force convection but depending on that depending on the uh, transform of heat or uh, that is con uh, condenser are basically two types natural convection and for convection air cool condenser but what happens in natural convection air cool condenser uh, is basically a natural air cool condenser natural air cool condenser uh, uh, of that type of condenser that heat transfer from the condenser coil to the air is by basically natural convection so, okay so the heat transfer from the condenser coil so the heat transfer from the uh, condenser coil uh, basically the condenser coil are there uh, so that to, to yeah by natural convection so there is no as such force up there so this is a natural way as we in which the hot vapor refrigerant is cooled by uh, air okay this is basically natural convection as the air comes in the contact to the warm condenser because uh, in which the vapor refrigerant flows in the steel or copper tube or condenser tube uh, the warm uh, condenser tube actually is contact with the air which is atmospheric air okay which is atmospheric air basically uh, now suppose this is your air cool condenser in which the air is passing through this and the uh, air is passing through the normal atmosphere area this is normal so this is the vapor refrigerant in and uh, vapor refri uh, liquid refrigerant out in these sections uh, so the, this is the basically hot in conditions as it is hot is condition basically warm so as it is warm so obviously the normal air is contact with the tube of steel tube or copper tube of the condensers okay so this uh, normal air is obviously ex extract heat from the condenser tube of uh, copper tube which is basically flow the refrigerant flow okay so the refrigerant the as the air comes in the contact with the warm air condenser it absorbs heat from the refrigerant 
as the temperature of the air also increases okay and um, another is uh, force convection so natural convection is basically air cool condenser natural convection air cool conden condenser is such type of condenser in which the air used as a natural condensing medium no doubt about that but the convection pro convection process is basically naturally so naturally means as the hot vapor refrigerant enters into the section or copper tube uh, it flows to the this tube and this is the fin section the normal air is contact with the uh, surface tube surface area of the um, copper tube okay when it is contact with the contact with the, the vapor refrigerant is reject heat and it convert into liquid refrigerant so this is the basic way that um, a vapor refrigerant can uh, it is a reject heat and it can forms the liquid refrigerant okay and then it is force convection air cooled condenser force convection air cooled condenser so the name suggests the force convection so obviously there is some uh, there is some external uh, uh, power or external agency of that so that the convection process uh, uh, complete uh, completed so the in uh, force convection air cool condenser the fan either propelling or centrifugal are basically used so in case of force convections in case of force convection main uh, main uh, uh, either external agency that is basically the fan the fan is basically either uh, propeller type propeller type propeller or centrifugal is used okay basically this type of fan either is propeller type or centrifugal fan is basically used to force the air over the condenser coil okay it's basically force it's force the air to to cool the condenser tube so that the vapor refrigerant transform into liquid refrigerant so that's why the name is called force convections okay and uh, it can be defined types also we can discuss on that on later the basically there are two types of convections of force convection method the condenser method are there another is a uh, base mounted air cooled uh, condenser and another is remote air cooled condenser just note down the point that uh, one is a base mounted base mounted air cooled condenser air cooled condenser and second one is remote air cooled condenser okay sorry air cooled condenser so but these are the short uh, notes on air cooled condenser uh, you can go through this and uh, okay thank you very much for listening and watching me and goodbye